Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll explore how to use a transistor as a switch. This basic yet fundamental concept is crucial for many electronic projects. Hi, everyone. I'm Abdul Wahid, and today, we're going to dive into the practical steps of using a transistor as a switch. Let's get started. What is a transistor? First, let's briefly understand what a transistor is. A transistor is a semiconductor device that can amplify or switch electronic signals. It's made up of three layers of semiconductor material, forming two junctions. The three layers form three terminals, the collector, the base, and the emitter. By applying a small current to the base, we can control a larger current flowing from the collector to the emitter. Before we begin, let's gather the components we'll need for our practical demonstration. Components needed. A breadboard. A transistor NPN type, for example, 2N3904. A resistor 1K. 1 LED 5 mm. A power source battery or power supply. Connecting wires. Make sure you have everything ready before we move to the setup. Setting up the circuit now. Let's set up our circuit. We'll start by placing the transistor on the breadboard. Insert the transistor into the breadboard, ensuring that the flat side faces you. The pins from left to right should be the emitter, base, and collector. Connect the resistor of 1000 to collector of transistor. Next, connect the 1000 resistor to the base of the transistor. Connect extra lead to base resistor for input voltage. Connect both switches as shown in animation. Connect a small piece of wire with the collector resistor. Connect upper parts of the circuit with the wire, as shown in animation. Similarly, make all connections as shown in the animation. Your circuit should now look like this. Testing the circuit. Cut off state open switch when transistor operates in the cutoff region shows the following characteristics the input is grounded that is at zero potential. The VB is less that cut in voltage 0.7 volt. Both emitter base junction and collector base junction are reverse biased. The transistor is fully off acting as open switch. The collector current IC equals zero A and output voltage VOUT equals VC. Transistor as the open switch, when the input voltage is equal to zero, then base current also becomes zero. The transistor start working in cutoff region. In cutoff of region, transistor acts as an open switch so that output voltage becomes supply voltage and collector current also becomes zero dot. In this case, LED remains off. Saturation state closed switch the transistor operating in the saturation region exhibits following characteristics the input is connected to VC. Base emitter voltage is greater than cut in voltage O7V. Both the base emitter junction and base collector junction are forward biased. The transistor is fully on and operates as closed switch. The collector current is maximum VOUT equals zero volt. Saturation region transistor as a closed switch when the base voltage is applied. Then transistor operates in saturation region and output voltage becomes zero. Saturation current starts flowing from collector to emitter of transistor and light emitting diode starts glowing in. This region transistor shows the characteristics of a closed switch. Conclusion. And that's how you use a transistor as a switch. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.